Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's just gonna be my everyday makeup routine. This is a very generic makeup routine for me. It's something that I would do if I don't wanna be too glamorous, but I still wanna look like really fresh and polished and presentable when I'm out and about on the weekend with my husband. It's not super over the top, like I don't have false eyelashes or crazy eyeshadow or anything like that. So yeah, so we'll get started. <laughs> So I begin by using the Ulta Matte Professional Prime and I just pour that on my hands, put it all over my face as though it were sunblock. I wanna get all over so my skin is nice and smooth. Now the Lasting Finish Full Coverage Foundation by Rimmel London in the color 203 True Beige. And again, all over my face, it's got SPF in there and I'm using a Real Technique stippling brush to blend the foundation all over. Next comes the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer because whenever I don't use this, you can definitely tell my eyeshadow and my eyeliner is all over the place. So I've got to be using my eyeshadow primer or else. Next comes the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. It's nice and cooling, it covers, and I use the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend out my concealer slash primer. I love all of e.l.f.'s brushes. They're affordable and they work great. Next comes the Stilla Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Palette. I'm using the e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush to apply the Stilla Cheek Color to my to my skin and I'm using the color Camellia um, as a bronzer and I'm just kind of touching up around my nose. On my forehead and I really kind of blend that out. I feel like it helps kind of give a more natural finish to my foundation. Oh, and then underneath my jaw area because I am not trying to have that extra hanging skin under there. I want to kind of contour out under there. Concealer to cover up my blemishes, the L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift Blur in 302 Light. And I'm just sort of tapping it onto my blemishes using my finger. I, I feel like that just kind of gets it in there. I'm also using a Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. And you can see I'm just sort of trying to blend out the concealer overall around. And then I'll go in there with my small e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush, which is super tiny. I love this brush. And I can get very precise around the blemishes. And then sometimes I'll just go over it again with my Real Techniques Stippling Brush, the one I use for foundation. Okay, back to blush. I'm using that Stilla palette again. And this is the color... Gerbera, Gerbera, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I just put it on the apples of my cheeks, blend it out with my fingers. If I need to use that stippling brush again, I do. Now after blush, I use the Real Techniques Multitasking Brush to dip into my e.l.f. Loose Powder in the color Soft Luminance, and I just dust that all over my skin, and I really blend it in there to really set all of that makeup that was somewhat moist. Then it's time for eyeshadow and I'm using Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for face and eyes. And I'm using a domed eyeshadow brush just to blend a light color all over um, my eye area. And then I come in with a shading brush also by Real Techniques. And I get sort of a champagne-y type color to put all over just the lid part. So it's a slightly darker color than the brighter tone that I had put all over. Again, you can kind of see I'm just doing like a, a little bit of a V-shaped. Oh, and I love this brush by Real Techniques. It's the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I just blur everything out so it all kind of blends together using that brush. And then the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. I'm going in with a nice like white bright color and sort of highlighting underneath my eyebrows um, in the corners of my eye area and again back with that deluxe crease brush just blending it out and then for the brows I use the elf eyebrow kit in the color dark and I'm using a brush by Real Techniques just called a brow brush and I fill in any sparse areas around my brows for eyeliner I'm using the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the color corrupt and I'm just kind of making the wing at the end and then coming back and filling in the rest of my eyeliner. Also, I do the the waterline in there just to kind of, you know, 
make it stand out more. I usually will also brush out my eyebrows a little. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline mascara in the Lash Stiletto in the blackest black that they sell. And it's also a waterproof mascara because in the Florida humidity, we need some waterproofness. And then I use a 224 brush by MAC to dust a nice little bright color around my lips. I feel like it just kind of gives them a little bit of pop. And then I line my lips using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the color Trendsetter. And my lip color is by Too Faced. It's the Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the color Chihuahua. And then I just finish my face with the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray and voila, I am ready for the day. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video if you liked it. Please share this video if you think someone might like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked it. So go look for the subscribe button in the description box below. And comment below and let me know what types of videos you'd like to see on my channel. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye-bye.